Okay, so what we're doing here, we've done a video that you've probably possibly seen on our YouTube channels or other social media with a 6.4 V8 uh, SRT Jeep Grand Cherokee, which is this one here. Um, we've got to the bottom of a worn camshaft lobe. We've had a conversation with the client and the owner of the vehicle who's just bought it and explained to him the risks of only doing a cylinder head removal to do the cams and not looking at the bottom. The issue at hand there is that that lobe has now been turned into a fine metallic powder and basically run through the whole engine. So we've pulled off the oil filter. I don't know how long it's been since this thing's had an oil change. We'll check that once it's done. Um, customer's given the go ahead to do just the top end. So pull the heads off, cam and lifters. Uh, doesn't want to do any of the bottom end stuff. Um, so what we've done is pull this filter off. We've got this fantastic little tool here that we bought from Toledo, uh, which opens up our oil filters on the twist types, a bit like a baked bean can. And what we've already seen, and we're hoping the camera will show it up, is this filter is actually full of metal. Uh, what we're looking at is not actually chunky bits, but very metallic. I don't know if the camera's gonna show it up, but let's pull this out and see what happens. Uh, oh, dude, look inside there. Look at that. Surely the camera's showing that up. Look how much metal. I can feel it on my skin just in the... Dude, look at this. Oh, man. That's bad. That's really bad. So all of that has gone through the bottom end of this engine. Uh, let's just shift the camera. Uh, not the camera, sorry, the microphone, because it's all going to want to go. You still filming? Yeah? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so this is why we will not warrant any mechanical failure caused by metal contamination after we do the heads and cam on this car. Wow, it's literally.